Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In this video, we'll discuss five electrical inspector interview questions from our website. We'll go over each question and some advice on how to answer them, along with an answer example. Afterwards, if you found this video helpful, please like and share. That would mean a lot to us. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. In your opinion, what are the top three qualities or characteristics an electrical inspector should possess? Here's how you answer. If you review the job announcement, you'll be better able to name the qualities the company is looking for in its ideal candidate. If the job description specifies that the company is looking for an electrical inspector who pays attention to detail and has excellent customer service, critical thinking, organizational, and interpersonal skills, Use three of those qualities in your response with an explanation of why each is important to possess. Here's our answer example. In my opinion, the top three qualities every electrical inspector should possess are excellent interpersonal skills, attention to detail, and organizational skills. Interpersonal skills cover a range of skills, including listening, answering questions, patience, and effective communication. Attention to detail is vital in this line of work because the job is technical and electrical hazards cannot be overlooked. Electrical inspectors also need to be organized to handle the workload and use time efficiently. Question number two, what is the most important thing you have learned as an electrical inspector? Here's how you answer. The interviewer wants insight into your knowledge and experience. Describe the most important thing you have learned while working in this industry and how you learned it. Share something relevant to your job as an electrical inspector. Be sure to give an example of how you gained this knowledge. You might have learned from a mentor or you may have discovered it while attending a conference. Here's our answer example. The most important thing I've learned as an electrical inspector is to take my time when doing an inspection. My mentor taught me that early on in my career and expressed the importance of doing a thorough professional job. Question number three, how do you handle stressful situations? Here's how you answer. As an electrical inspector, you will sometimes have to work in stressful situations. The interviewer wants to hear that you remain calm and perform your duties under pressure. Describe a stressful situation you have encountered and how you dealt with it. How you respond shows the interviewer your conflict resolution and problem solving skills, which are essential traits to have as an electrical inspector. The interviewer also wants to hire a level-headed inspector, and if you cannot handle stress well, you may not be the best candidate for this position. Here's our answer example. I handle stressful situations by remaining calm, taking a step back, and focusing on the situation. I want to determine what makes the situation stressful and find ways to alleviate that stress. I recently had a stressful situation when a job I worked on did not pass inspection. The electrical contractor started yelling at me, throwing his tools, and telling me I was wrong. I took a deep breath, calmly explained why he was not passing inspection, and showed him the electrical code. It was an easy fix, and I explained that I could pass inspection once he changed the breaker. The contractor calmed down and said he had made a mistake and would fix the problem right away. I find that remaining calm is the key to dealing with stressful situations. Question number four. Have you ever had to take on a leadership role? Tell me about the outcome. Here's how you answer. Many electrical inspectors work alone and do not necessarily take on a leadership role unless they advance to a leadership position in their careers. The interviewer wants to know if you have ever taken on a leadership role and the outcome to determine if you have the leadership style they are looking for in a candidate. The company wants someone who will interact well with coworkers and the public and has leadership qualities. If you have not led as an electrical inspector, describe when you were a leader in school, another job, or on a sports team. Here's our answer example. Yes, I have taken on leadership roles in my career as an electrician. I led a crew of eight individuals who reported to me for their assignments. I was a mentor for apprentices and supervised my crew on every project. I have always had a good outcome in leadership roles as I believe in working alongside my crew while providing motivation and inspiration to do the best work possible. I enjoy working with others and look forward to working in a leadership role with your company if hired.
Question number five, what makes you the best person for this job? Here's how you answer. Now's the time to sell yourself and let the interviewer know what makes you the best candidate for this position. While there are likely many qualified candidates for the job, you should describe a unique trait that makes you stand out. Review the job announcement, look for keywords the company uses to describe their ideal candidate, and use some of those keywords in your response. When responding to this question, you need to stand out from the other candidates, but not appear cocky or arrogant. Avoid putting down other applicants while highlighting why the company should hire you over others. Here's our answer example. I'm sure you have many qualified applicants for this position. I'm the best person for this job because I have all of the qualities you are looking for in an electrical inspector, and I have more years of experience than you require. I've worked as an electrical inspector for 15 years and have experience with residential and commercial buildings. I have excellent interpersonal and critical thinking skills, and I have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. I also have a proven track record of being fair, professional, and treating all customers with dignity and respect. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to our channel. It really does help motivate us to continue creating videos. Thanks again, and we hope you stick around to watch more interview practice videos from Mock Questions.